Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel stopping by for the first time, thank you so much. I appreciate it. My name is Elizabeth and my channel name is Shytown Girl. I hope everyone is doing well today. I have a brand new dollar for you all. Yes, I do. Awesome finds. I'm really happy. Grab that wish list because I think you're going to see something that you might like. Every single item in this video, a buck and a coin, a dollar twenty-five. Every single item in this video came from the same locations throughout the HB, Hudson Valley, in the state of NY, New York. Alrighty, I hope everyone is doing well. It's been a beautiful day here on the East Coast. Uh, a little cooler, which is fine. A little bit of threat of rain on and off. They're saying probably later on this afternoon. So we shall see. Alrighty, so let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. We're going to start off in the kids department where the toys are. All right. This is called Head Bands, the quick question game of what am I? It is for ages five and up for two to four players. And I thought, you know what? Something like this, it's on the smaller side. It's great for packing away, fitting in a stocking, um, all kinds of places. I hadn't seen this game in a really, really long time. So I grabbed this and it's so funny because when I was in the store today, I'm just chucking along and I went through the Halloween stuff and then I round the corner and honest to gosh, all Christmas. I was like, no way. It's only, I mean, I get it tomorrow, September 1st, but Christmas, come on. I wasn't about it. I didn't even look at it. I was like, no, nope, I'm not, I'm, I'm not even really ready for Halloween, but I'm getting little pieces here and there. So I was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, it's hitting here on the East Coast. All right, the next thing from the kids department. Would you rather eat a jar of olives stuffed with slugs, you, or eat a roadkill hot dog? It's another game and it's by the company Spin Master Games. It's for two to four players, ages eight and up. And it's a card game. It's in this tin, which is really cool. Small, convenient, again, for traveling. You know, if you're RVing it or camping it, you know, something small and compact makes it uh, easy to work with. The next game is from the same company. Again, Spin Master Games. This one is called Beat the Parents. A family showdown. The stack has never been higher. Ages six and up for, again, two to four players. And there it is right there. And the company that I'm reading to you is right there. There's their own personal website. So I thought that was kind of cool. You know, put a few games on the side. All right, staying, actually we're done with that department. Let's go over to the stationery department. I did find these cool markers. I'm gonna put these away for the kids. And this first one, they're by Centos. And this first one is Blueberry and it has a scent to it. And these are big, fat, chunky ones. The next one that I found, which is also Centos, and this one is Strawberry, and looks just like that. And then last but not least, I found one in green, apple scented. Evidently, I'm missing, because I'm seeing back here, there's four different ones. And it looks like I'm missing the watermelon one because there's the four different ones and the watermelon is the one I do not have. So I thought that was kind of cool to find those in the stationery department. Also in the stationery department, a couple new notebooks. These are bendable and they're made by Jot. The sticker on the back, what? Are you kidding me? This sticker does not come off. That sucks. I don't like that. I really don't. Anyways, you're going to get 60 sheets. Um, yeah, that's a big sticker. It does not come off. To me, a sticker like that just ruins the notebook. Yeah, you could put something else over it, but you shouldn't have to. Anyways, you can do anything. There it is. Again, nice and, you know, pliable. When you open it up, just plain regular old paper. Nothing super, super fancy. The next one here says small steps every day. That's right, you just put one foot in front of the other. You know, some days are better than others. We've all been down that road before. Again, this one has 60 sheets. That's not coming off there, Jot. Not happy about that. And then there's your inside. I shouldn't moan, but I don't know. 
I guess I can. It's my channel, right? Okay. Let's go over to the pets. For those of you that have kitty kitties, meow meows, this is by Greenbrier Kennel Club, and it is an adorable, it is, um, it fits neck sizes 8 to 10 inches, and it's a pretty little kitty collar choker. Is that adorable or what? So you have all these little beads, and then you have a little bell right there. And then it actually has a little lobster claw clasp. Well, the clasp is over here. My bad. There's the lobster claw clasp. And then it has a little chain extender here, which makes gives you that 8 to 10 inches. How cute is that? You know, for a little kitty, if you're looking for something. They've been really doing a lot of stuff in the pet department. I've been noticing lots of new toys coming in and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do I have socks? Of course I do, but I'm just going to show you two pairs. These are, so if you're into Dungeons and Dragons, these are going to be adult size socks. Are they? Yeah, these are adult size. And we have Dungeon and Dragons. We have this pair here. And then it says the Dungeon and Dragon on the flame right there. And then this one here says, this is how I roll. And I say that all the time. Well, that's how I roll. There it is, and then it says the Dungeon and Dragons right there. So if you've got somebody who is into Dungeon and Dragons, there you go. I think these are the first I've hauled of Dungeon and Dragons. I have to double check. I have so many pairs of socks. Okay, let's go over to the food department. There was only one thing I found in foods, but this item was $1, and that's the regular price. It wasn't on sale, it's just $1. And it's by Carlin's Kitchen Collection. It's cheddar and broccoli, rice pasta broccoli with a cheddar sauce, 5.7 ounces, and it says it cooks in seven minutes. There it is right there, stove top. It's a staple. It's good until December 22nd of 2025. And there's where that book is. So I was really curious. When I saw the dollar thing, I was like, okay. So I actually went and grabbed one of the girls that was working. I said, is this really a buck or is it going to come up 125 She goes, I don't know. Let's check it. It came up for a dollar. Now, they had some Jiffy Muffin corn muffin mixes, the brand name. And they the box itself said $0.75, cents, but they were charging a buck and a coin. I don't know where that math came from. But anyways, these were one dollar so it's so nice to see that one dollar price it's almost like you're getting a deal and you really are but to see that one dollar price back after all prices are just going up everywhere it's crazy all right i did get something in the sweets and treat department i couldn't pass this up these are four ounces of the harbo gold bears in the wild berry flavors <gasps> I haven't seen wild berry in such a long time. The wild berries consist of blueberry, wild cherry, strawberry, raspberry, and blackberry. Two of my very favorite flavors, and they're super squishy. So I got myself a pack of that to munch on later. All right, let's go over to, basically, I just got some of these bags. It's a brand name, though. Um, Handy Wrap's been around for a really long time. With all the varmints going back to school, when I say varmints, I'm talking about the kids. Um, with all the kids and everything going back to school, uh, this was 125 of the new fold top bags by Handy Wrap. So I did grab a box of these because I have all kinds of different, you know, between tin foil, aluminum foil, whatever you want to call it, wax paper, all that stuff. I try to keep a, a variety of different bags in my drawers all the time. All right, let's go over to the makeup department. I did find a couple new things in the makeup department. This nail file I thought was really cool. It's made by Diamond Cosmetics, and it's in the shape of like a lightning bolt. I just thought that was different. So I grabbed that, and I was thinking, you know, some of these like real tight pointy corners here, you could probably get in little places. I don't know. I just thought it was a neat. I kind of liked the lightning bolt effect, so I grabbed that. And then I found some more lipsticks. And these are by that company I showed you the other day, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Is it La Mercerie? La Mercerie? I'm not sure, but I'm going to show you the packaging. And what this is, it's a full coverage lip gloss, and it says number 722 Max Lip Shine. There is the actual product. So we're going to open this up and check it out. 
I haven't seen this brand besides what I hauled earlier the other day at Dollar Tree before. So I'm not sure if it's something new out there and about, but they got some cool stuff. All right, so it's a real, I love this color right there. I think that's so pretty. So here is the actual container right there. I'm pretty sure it's gonna have one of those, um, yeah, it shows on the package, the type of wand it has. So there's the wand. I'm gonna do it right here. So it says it's a tinted, did it say tinted lip gloss? Uh, no, my bad, it says full coverage. So it's definitely gonna have some color to it. I just plopped it in there once again. Ooh, let me just even that out. Oh, talk about holiday color coming up. That is beautiful. That is dead on to what the packaging looks like. I mean, that's, yeah, very pretty, very pretty. All right, they also had another one. This one, same company, number 723, and this one is just called Max Lip Shine Full Coverage. And there's the color there. It's more of a pinky color. I'm gonna open this one up. This one looks really, really pretty. Okay, so here's our container. There it is, all the way around. I would love to see this color. That would be awesome. I love the mauves. All right, so I'm just gonna in and out a couple times. So let's see. We're gonna go right next to that red. All right, so this is more, it's got some color to it, but let me just pile it up a little bit so you can see it some more. So it's more right there. It's more of a gloss. I mean, there's some color, but not like, you know, bam, like that. <clears throat> very, very pretty though. So that was new. And then by, and let me just wipe my hand off here. I'm going to end up with stuff everywhere and I don't want to get it on any of my new stuff. All right. So the next item I found was by Ioni and this is a highlight powder and the color is called Glow. Looks really pretty. This would be great for Valentine's Day. We're going to rip this open because I want to get into this. I love little sparkles, whether you put it, you know, in the cleavage area or up on the shoulders or on your eyes or your cheek. I love a little sparkle here and there. There's nothing wrong with a little sparkle. This packaging is so cute. All right. So there's what it looks like. The light's not the best in here because, like I said, I think it's going to rain. I'm going to open it up. You're not going to get a brush or anything like that, but, hey, that's cool. There it is opened up, and then I'm just going to take a swipe. And we're going to go, like, right here. There you go. So it's just enough, right, that very subtle. It's not like when you put it on and it's, like, super white. By the time I rub that in a little bit, there you go. Just love that little bit of glimmer, glimmer. Just a little bit of, just that little pop right there by Ioni. All right, so when I was checking out, <clears throat> excuse me, you know how they have all the impulse stuff, whether it be, uh, you know, uh, novelty pens or whatever like that. They had these cute, they had this plastic bucket. And I, I really hate when they put stuff on the checkouts. Because you don't see it till at the end. And if you start to look at it when you're checking out, they get snooty with you because you're looking at it. Well, then don't put stuff at the checkouts. Because how do we know it's there until we're checking out, right? And here I'm getting all nasally again. What is with this room? Anyways, they had this big plastic tub. And they had all these, like, colors. And I was like, what in the world are those? Well, after I stuck my hand in the tub and I pulled a couple out, they're called a silicone coin purse are these are so cute so first of all you've got a silver tone chain which you could attach on keys or whatever this is the actual little purse so you can see from my hand it's not super small but it's super puffy it's all rubbery so it's basically a regular coin point coin poise it's a regular coin purse that has the metal but it's wrapped in all this rubber, so it's super soft. So there's the inside, and then you hear it snap, but it's all rubber. 
I just thought it was so cute and fun. So they had them in a couple of colors. They had this purple, and then they had this pink, which is just as adorable. I mean, why couldn't a grown-up use one of these? And it just fits so good in your hand, and it's real squishy. <laughs> and then they had this orange one. So I called up the lady down the road. I said, hey, you know what? I'm at Dollar Tree, and that's the one that I make the baskets for her girls. And I said, if you're looking for some stuff for the girls' birthdays next year, because she does all kinds of treat bags and stuff like that, I said, they've got, so she, long story short, I picked up a dozen of them because these are actually, besides the purple ones, mine, but the other ones, and I have a couple other colors, are going to her to put away for the girls' birthday parties next year. Because you're probably not going to see those again, and if you do, it'll be past the time for her birthday, so we wouldn't be able to get them anyways. So, yeah, when I'm out and about, I'm always looking not only for myself, but for my neighbors and my boyfriend and my daughter and for everybody. All right, well, that's going to wrap up this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you found something you enjoyed. I have many other things that I'd like to share with you, um, but that's going to probably wait. Oh, I'm not sure when I'm going to do it. It's a long weekend, so you might see me back again. All right, everybody, a big hug from me to all of you. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your support. Until next time, everyone, have a wonderful afternoon. Bye for now.